Hey guys, welcome back. This week's video is of a picture of a mermaid. Um, when I first started the piece, I originally intended to do it digitally. So I'd do my pencil sketch first, and then I actually used my Wacom Inkling to do the line art, because it actually records the pen movements, if you've not seen one before. Mine's sort of broken. I've had it for a while and don't really use it a lot and it's a little temperamental with the charging. I have to keep it plugged in to then take the pen out and everything or it won't turn on because the on and off switch is broken for the clip that clips onto the paper. But I don't use it that much so it doesn't really bother me anyway. It still does its job but just have to do that little thing. But um, yeah so in part of the video you'll see the recording that the Inkling did of me going over my initial sketch. Um, when I do stuff digitally I usually work in Paint Tool Sci. Uh, I just like the colours that you get and everything and the interface on that. I never really got on with Photoshop much. I still use it every now and again but I prefer Paint Tool Sci. But I decided I would do it traditionally in the end because I take forever when I'm doing stuff digitally. I don't know why, I'm just so slow at it. It takes me absolutely ages and I can never get happy with the colours or anything like that. I think just because there's so many I can choose from, then, because I can choose any colour I want, every colour is available to me on, on the computer. Whereas when I do stuff traditionally, I have the colours I have and that is it. I can't pick and choose, well I can, but I don't have as many options. So I tend to actually limit myself more on my colour palette when I do stuff traditionally than digitally. But anyway, I'll talk a bit about my digital process first and then we'll go into my traditional. When I do stuff normally, I will usually, it's very rare I don't, but I'll usually start off with a traditional sketch which I'll then scan in. I will clean it up on Photoshop just to make the lines a little bit cleaner, like just playing with the levels a little move it over into Psy to then do the line art. Um, I just use the basic line art, well just a basic paint brush on there with quite a small um, size and yeah it, it takes a few tries to get the lines nice but yeah I, I enjoy doing line art in Psy and I really liked how the line art turned out in this one but it's when I get to the colouring stage that I really start to struggle. At first I tried doing sort of like a bluish sort of skin tone and going along that sort of route so it's more under the sea, you know, dark blue backgrounds, the blue tone on the skin, I, think I was going to do like pinky sort of hair just to contrast against the blue, but it didn't really work. So then I tried doing like an underpainting, so I did the grey tones and then painted over it with skin tones with a pinkish purple sort of tone to it. This is where I started to veer towards my final colour choices. But again I didn't really like how it turned out. I even at one point changed the hairstyle I was doing on the piece when I was doing it digitally. I tried turning it into a big curly afro which I really liked how that looked as the line art and sort of just a block colour but not for the finished piece which I didn't finish digitally anyway but yeah. Um. If, if I got fed up, I think it was about four hours worth of digital work and I'd barely done anything and I get so frustrated when things start to take that long. Normally I'm a fairly quick worker. I can get, like the watercolour version I did of the piece took me two and a half hours. So already that's half the time and I finished the piece. I mean, that was even waiting for drying time as well. I still managed to finish it in about two and a half hours. So I guess I'm a little bit of an impatient person, but that that's why. So anyway, when I do traditional pieces, I usually, I'll do the sketch and then use my light box, transfer it over onto what paper I'm using. Like for this, I used watercolour paper. I think it was, oh, excuse the creaky chair. Um, Windsor and Newton. Um, 14 pound or 300 GSM watercolour paper. Uh, yeah, acid free watercolour paper. Didn't know that, but there we go. 
which I really like this watercolour paper. It's it's a shame because that was like my last sheet, so I need to get some more. But anyway, at least it came out on a really nice painting. Um, so when I swapped over to the watercolour, I masked off the mermaid with masking fluid, which again is a Winsor and Newton masking fluid. Um, and did the background. So I stuck with the original colours that I was using in the digital, which was like the dark blues and everything for the water, and sort of faded it into a lighter blue towards the mermaid, so as if she sort of had a glow, like a light coming from behind her. And then for the mermaid herself, I wanted to do like light sort of pastel-y blues and pinks and lilacs on the tail, and a pinkish red hair. So I'm really happy with how the piece turned out and yeah I don't really have a lot to say about it apart from I guess I sort of went with a galaxy sort of theme for the colours which yeah who doesn't like galaxy really but anyway I hope you like the piece it's available on my Redbubble account as prints, tote bags, all that sort of stuff so there's a link down in the description below and I guess I'll just leave you some music now, so thank you for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.